continue with three minutes of Tehillim. We are now up to Perek uh, Samach, Psalm 60. In this Perek, David HaMelech describes certain battles he has where he experienced adversity and he experienced the enemies attacking him, but then eventually HaKadosh Baruch Hu saves him. And it's interesting to note, the Mepharshim uh, note that he de- de- discusses many different battles, um, which seem to be strange because if you look at Shmuel and Divrei Ayamim, those battles where it talks about here, it talks about in uh, Aram, Tzova, and in uh, Imek, Sukkos, different places which are recorded in Divrei Ayamim and in Shmuel, those are battles where he was successful. So what is the Navi, what is David Amalek talking about here that he felt such a need that he's uh, almost the, on, the, on the brink of, of this destruction and then he prays to Hashem and then he sur- survives and he's saved. So Rashi has an interesting explanation. Rashi says that it actually was a Navua that David Amalek succeeded in defeating Aram or, Ed, or Edom and, and, and he was t- shown that in the future times Edom would actually persecute us and we'd experience persecution at the hands of Edom in the future times. And these psukim where he's talking about zanachtanu peratztanu anafta toshidim lanu that you have forsaken us, you have breached us, you have caused us, you're angry with us and please save us. This is actually a reference to the future days when Edom would persecute us. And it's just an interesting thing that David Amalek is sort of bridging the gap, we've talked about this in the past, between his personal experience and talking about for generations to come praying for the future of the Jewish people. And that is something that is connected to uh, an idea that I saw in this week's pa- past week's parsha, Parsha's Ve'eschan, and that the Rav Soloveitchik has an incredible insight. He says, based on a medrash, that um, Moshe Rabbeinu davins Ve'eschan, we know he davins 515 times, and Hashem says no. Why did Hashem say no? So Rav Soloveitchik says it's because it's Ve'eschan, that he says, I daven, I daven alone. He called the Tilm rally, he said, everyone's got to come and daven for me to get into Eretz Yisrael, and who shows up to the rally? Just Moshe Rabbeinu. Nobody else came. Just Moshe. It doesn't say Venis Hanan and we Davin. It says Ve'es Hanan and I Davin. And that is the whole purpose of Tehillim is that we're supposed to Davin for ourselves and our own personal life, but we also connect to everything that's going on in Eretz Yisrael, everything that's going on with Klai Yisrael for the future generations. We Davin for ourselves, but we have to connect to and Davin for all of Klai Yisrael.